Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an interesting Azure use case. The use case is create a Cosmos DB database, a container and insert some items and read items using Python. Some of the prerequisites of this video are you need to have a Cosmos DB account. You need to install Azure Cosmos DB Python SDK. We can install using the command pip install azure-cosmos and we need to have python installed. We are going to write the python code using visual studio code. Before we get into the details, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video Azure Cosmos introduction where I have briefly explained on what is Azure Cosmos DB and I have also created a Cosmos DB account, database, container and items. I have created all this using Azure portal. In this video, we are going to create a database, container and items using Python. Here is my Cosmos DB account. Currently, I don't have any database created. We are going to create by writing Python script. Let me get into Visual Studio Code. The first step is to import the library Azure Cosmos. From that library, we are going to import partition key and exceptions. I am going to run in asynchronous mode. So, I have imported asynchronous IO library. I have a data file, data file.py, where we have different departments. We have three departments, IT, HR, and finance. All the three data are in different functions. Inside that, I have a dictionary which has the data and I am returning that dictionary here. Similarly, I am returning the HR items and the finance items. In my program, I have imported this data file. The next step is to import the endpoint and the key. We can get the endpoint and the key from the Cosmos DB account. Let me show you from where we can get the endpoint and the primary key. If you go to the settings and inside that if you go to keys, we have the URI which is the endpoint and the primary key. I have copied this in my code. Now let's go to the Visual Studio code. I am going to create the database as department and the container name as t underscore department. The next step is to create a Cosmos DB client using the endpoint and the primary key. The code for doing that is we are creating a client using the endpoint and the key. And we are using the Cosmos DB client for creating the database. In order to create the database, we are using the function create database and we are passing the database name. Once our database is created, the next step is to create a container. And using create container function, we are creating the container and our partition key is name and we are providing the throughput as 400. The next step is to insert items for our container. For that, I am going to read the dictionary values and I am creating a list out of it. I have named my list as department item to create in this function. I am iterating through the list and inserting the records into my container. In order to insert the items, I am using create items function. Once the items are inserted, the next step is to read the items. In order to read the items, I am using read items method. I am reading the data based on the ID column 
and the partition key column. I am reading all the items and I am printing the result. First, I am printing the ID, name, location and the count. And in the format, I have displayed the corresponding item response as ID, name, location and the count. That's pretty much it. In the run sample function, I am calling all the functions. Now, let me run the function. We have created the database and we have created the container and we have inserted three records and we are reading the three records. Next, we will go to Azure portal and see if our database, container and items are created. Here is my Azure portal. Let me go to Data Explorer in Cosmos DB. We see here that the department database is created and the container is also created. And if we click the items, all the three items are created. Here is the first item, the second item and the third item. We have created the database, container and the items using our Python code. I will share this program in my GitHub so that you can try from your side and let me know if you face any issues. I hope you like this video and I'm sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting Azure use case. Thank you.